Lake Placid Blue, Antigua. Okay, I've got the paint mixed. The Lake Placid Blue is in my little spray gun here. I've got the base color just like the red one I did already on there. And then I cleared it and let it dry. So now it's smooth and perfect. Not a speck of contamination. Okay. I've got a pick guard to do after I do this part. So I will start right here the way I tend to. And these are NOS, which means they've got to be completely perfect. No contamination, no problems whatsoever. Or you've got to redo it. Okay, like glasses do. I don't want to get it completely covered at this point right here. I just want to get a nice start here because I'm going to do the same thing I'm doing now with the back side. I'm going to do the same thing in these horns with the front side. So I'll get I'll get everything covered then. Okay, now I will focus on with the back side up, hitting that corner, aiming my spray gun down. You can't see that, but I'm pointing kind of down. Trying to get it as even as I can. Even you gotta back up a little bit. Apply your paint lightly. Back up. And let it just fall on there like mist or rain kind of, you know? Even. Okay, I'll do the same thing here. Aim on that point of the curve there, the crest. A little I don't know what they call that routed edge. Still aiming my spray gun down while I do this. As much as I can. Trying to minimize the overspray that is doing it wrap around and hit the bottom. You know, paint goes like this because the poop is drawing the paint in. So as I paint, it's going under the body and some of the paint is sticking to this surface very small amount but if I was aiming at it like this boy it would be a lot worse that's why you kind of come down at it like this spray from farther away the little paint particulates are traveling farther because you're farther away I'm not spraying with my paint gun here I'm spraying it with it out here so as they travel a little bit farther they have a chance to dry out as they travel through the air consequently you can get that crispy feeling to your paint it's not smooth it's crispy and feels greedy, you know what I mean? So in order to combat that or to counteract it, you use a slower reducer, a reducer that dries slower. So that way your paint stays wet longer, gives you a chance that paint tends to flow out a little bit more when you do that. You know, Places that paint in hot, hot climates like, say, Palm Springs or something, they have to use slow reducer because otherwise 
the paint will dry before it comes out of your gun. It's like 180 degrees over there. So they have reducers designed for different temperatures. If you're spraying somewhere where it's really cold outside, you might want a fast reducer. Otherwise, it'll stay wet for like 400 years. Get a fast reducer that dries quickly if it's cold outside. But I'm in a controlled environment but I can use those things to my advantage when I want the paint to dry fast or slow or whatever I'm trying to do. Like that? Like classic blue first on a Antigua type color. trying to even up any areas that look funny. Like right there, so. a, little, a little bit right there to kind of even that up. Just kind of easing this stuff on. Take your time. Ain't no rush. Sometimes you're trying to get things done. I understand that. It's production. Sometimes you rush through it, you make a mistake. And then you gotta redo it. And magically, when you're redoing it, all of a sudden you have the time because you're redoing it. I worked with this one guy, he said, you always seem to have time when you're doing it the second time. <laughs> anyway. Let's find that pick card. There's the red one I did. Here's the pick guard. I gotta make sure it's taped on there nice. I don't want this thing falling off halfway through the process. Okay, pick guard. Now let's get this body out of here. Don't want any overspray hitting that. Put that here. Okay. I've already inspected it prior to the video, but I'm just making sure nothing's on there. You only get one shot at these. If you mess them up, you know, you can't touch these up. You know, just redo it. Re stinking do it. Okay. Ease it on slow, slow. Go slow. Mm -hmm. Slow but deliberate, you know, you can't be afraid. It's just paint. Worst thing that happens is you mess it up. Yeah, you got to redo it, but it's just pain. Everything. 
still going to be fixed. see what it looks like compared to the pig guard. Put that on there. Put that on there. Is the, is the, the blue the same? Holding it down, I don't want to touch that body with this pig guard. Well, maybe it squeezed more on the blue, right? See, this side butts, you know, bolts right on there, so it's going to be a butt match. Boom! This side doesn't if it's off, you're never going to know because you've got this separating thing here. Anyway, yeah, so this side needs to be cherry perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Go a little bit more, a little tiny little bit more. Trying to aim things and it's hard because I'm. Well, never mind why it just is. Constantly aim in the wrong direction with the stupid camera. Well, there it is. If you don't like that, and that's tough. Buy a black one. There's your smelly, stinking. Oh, I can't say that. There's your beautiful, most lovely of all time. Lake Placid Blue and Chigua. Over.